Hey everyone, I'm with Mary Jane today. Hello! In Athens Square Park, Astoria. And we're gonna be riding from here to the end of Queens, pretty much. At the end of the Vanderbilt Motor Parkway. It's gonna be an awesome adventure and we'll get this ride started. You can check her out at her channel. What a shame, Mary Jane! <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, let's go. Let's go, ready. <laughs> That's the starting bell, but I actually <laughs> hit it by accident. <laughs> <laughs> well, was nice coincidence. <laughs> All right, so we're going to cross here, go down 30th Street. We can also go under the subway too, but it's so noisy. I don't want to do that. You know best, AK. Yeah. I follow you. You don't know anything about Queens, right? Um, I mean, I know that it's my favorite borough in New York City, actually. It is? Wow. I've been here, I mean, countless times, actually, but um, I don't know it that well. Okay. I would like to explore more. That's why I was so excited today that a native <laughs> uh, Queens, how do you call people who uh, come from Queens? Resident? Uh, or a Queens yeah, person, so I guess. A resident like you is gonna guide me through Queens. I think you always wanted to bike more of Queens. We've only done, um, I think, to the Rockaways, right, in your vlogs? Yes, exactly. But although the Rockaways is Queens, the way to get there from Manhattan is all in Brooklyn. Oh, yeah, that's true. You went down to uh, uh, Bedford Avenue. Yeah, Bedford Avenue, yeah. and then you went to next to the airfield. Exactly. Floyd Bennett. Yes. Okay, so we're going to make a left here. I think we can go, yeah. Okay. There's a bike lane here, but it's not really like respected too well. There's people parking in it and... And deliveries, but that's all around New York City. <laughs> So this is 31st Avenue, I've seen that. Yeah, 31st Avenue. It's the, the avenue that they chose to make uh, just for pedestrians and cyclists during the pandemic. Yeah. 31st Avenue, open street. It's only for a few blocks, but it's nice. Yes, we have the same thing in Avenue B in the East Village. Okay. Very, very nice. Although, I must say, they open it to traffic at 8 p.m., which is doesn't make much sense in my opinion. I don't know how it is here. Yeah, 8 p.m. also. Oh, okay, same time. 8 o'clock to 8 o'clock. The problem is that from 8 to 10 p.m., all the people are strolling around the neighborhood, so mm -hmm. it would be nice to be able to walk along the, the avenue. Yeah. Also, all the restaurants that are along the avenue um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit critic about that decision. But how do you like the outdoor dining experience? I think I've gotten used to it a lot. There's some restaurants that do it better than others and mm -hmm. most of the time it's just better because, because of their location. If yeah. it's on a busy street, then the outdoor dining is not going to be as nice as one on a quiet street. There's even some outdoor dining areas underneath the subway, and I don't really like that. Oof. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs> also, I must say, I think it's a little bit... Um, 
not neatly distributed. No, yeah. how do you say? Uh, because some restaurants have so few seats indoors and then maybe they are on the corner so they have plenty of space right now. And then there are other restaurants who were very much penalized because of, on the opposite, they had no space on the sidewalk maybe. So I don't know. Yeah, that's true. But at least they're taking up space on the street and not the sidewalk. The sidewalks are already small. Yeah, like that's true. Like over here is okay. Yeah. But on the good note, indoor dining is coming back September 30, but only at 25% uh, of normal. I actually got the news from you. I was watching a live stream of yours, I think. Oh, yeah. Or someone else's live stream where you commented, <laughs> giving the big news. <laughs> Time oh my god, it smells so good here. <laughs> what is Next this? To uh, this Frank, Frank Slovak. Yeah, they're famous. Yeah, oh, I see. It smells like food. amazing barbecue. On your way here, you got lost on Steinway Street, right? Yes, I was simply following wrong directions on Google Maps. <laughs> I don't know why. Go ahead. Whew. That I was know, close. That was, <laughs> it was. Those are just some of the dangers of biking in New York. I almost, almost hit you. I think I ran it one centimeter from your wheel. Oh, wow. <laughs> but I almost hit that woman. Yeah, I saw everything. <laughs> When I'm biking next to the parked cars, I always try to like go really slow so I can see like who's in the car before I pass. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you never know if like there's a person coming out or they're going to open the door. That's good behavior. Yeah. At nighttime, it's hard to do that though.
no cars coming. This avenue is very quiet over here. It only really gets busy down by uh, Steinway Street and by the train. Uh huh. So today we're going to go by LaGuardia Airport. We're going to go through Flushing Meadows Park and also through um, the Vanderbilt Motor Parkway. You know, so I, a lot of parks today. I'm very excited, not only because we're going to bike there, but also because I've never been there in general. Really? Not even by subway, by car, by cab. <laughs> I've never been in those areas. So I'm actually going to change the route up a little bit because um, there's an open streets on 34th Avenue mm -hmm. and it's I feel it's a, bit, a little bit more of a comfortable ride than going on over here. Perfect. I really don't like the roads over here. The next block we're going to make a right. Okay. Action kid, J biker. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we can continue on here, but it's going to be like this the entire time. Normally, I would like this street better, but because they have the open streets on the other avenue, I prefer that one. <coughs> But if there's no open streets, then I like this one better. Yeah. It was a very nice street. Yeah. Very hilly. Nice houses. 
We have a little bit of wind right now. Yeah, but at least we don't have that big heat oh, yeah. that we've had in the summer, right? Now this is the best weather for our cycling in my opinion. Yes, exactly. Actually the best weather for New York City in general. I love it. September and October. Yeah, September, October and April, May, right? Yeah. I think. I always suggest to people who want to visit here to come in one of these months. I think you mentioned that in one of your last previous videos. Yeah, I made a video shot in Central Park in November with all the foliage about which season is best to come to New York City to visit. And actually I ended up describing each month of the year oh. <laughs> because I feel like every in every month in New York City there is a different vibe. There is. Because it's so affected by the seasons, which is something that I, I absolutely love. <laughs> but also the people change. It the does. behaviors of the people. But this year's spring was like so different. I've never seen like spring so depressing before because of lockdown and people couldn't go out and enjoy the flowers. I think yeah, that was the worst thing to see all the energy because I think the spring mm -hmm. is the moment in your city where people are more energetic they because are. they kind of wake up from, from the, the winter, right? The cold winter. And they're all so happy to go out, enjoy the good weather. And this year, right in that moment, we had to stay home. And that was the saddest thing about the quarantine. That it was. was directly e experienceable, of course. But what do you think about the city in these last few days, weeks? Um, I feel that there's a lot more energy than there used to be, especially during the weekends. And it's great to see the city come back finally. But Exactly. You know, now the fall's coming with colder weather again. I feel like that energy is going to be short-lived. It's going to be interesting to see how New Yorkers are going to react to the cold weather in this condition. I know. Also with um, indoor dining. Yeah, indoor dining is a huge, is a huge uh, victory for a lot of New Yorkers. Now they, at least they can go out to eat. Yeah. But not yet though, at September 30, that's when it's open. Well, until September 30, I think outdoor dining is gonna be still a yeah. must because the weather is so nice, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, we're going to make a left here. This is the open streets. Mm. And this goes on for at least, I would say 20 blocks from here. Oh, wow. Yeah. 20 blocks is a lot. It's a long, long way. Is this like the longest open street in New York? That's a good question. I'm not sure. It might be. Because the ones that I've seen in Manhattan, they are just a few blocks long. Then, of course, it depends yeah. uh, what you consider as a block, if it's a street block or an avenue block, avenue block. right? <laughs> but I love this street now because they have the trees on the side in the middle and it's quiet. But on a normal day where they don't have this, I don't like it because the cars they take up most of the street mm -hmm. and there's no there's no room to like move left and move right because you squeeze in by this by this thing here yeah i think it's nice to bike on a sunday it is because you you have all the people outside just Strolling around, walking yeah. their dogs, play with their kids. Oh, <laughs> that was a nice little kid. Yeah.
You see a lot of interesting things on these streets. I've seen people exercising, doing like jumping jacks. There was even people playing board games here. That's nice, I like it. Yeah. Board games. You know, from Manhattan, we've heard many things about Queens during the pandemic. Really? Because I think it was the borough that was most hit by the virus. Oh yes, especially the Corona Queens neighborhood and this one we're, we're in right now, Jackson Heights. Mm-hmm. Elmhurst Hospital back then was all over the news. Exactly, yes. I actually have some friends in the East Village who started a non-profit during the pandemic with no previous experience in that field wow. to, to cook meals to send here um, to help people in Queens. That's so good. With warm food. I actually make, made a video about it. That's the latest video that I published on, oh, yeah. on my channel. That's it's right. called Evie Loves Queens. Mm -hmm. It used to be called. Now they expanded, so they are called Evie Loves New York City. Oh. Wow, look at this. This little a market farmers market you want to check it out yeah i would love oh, yeah. to let's go should we maybe we could buy a couple of apples or at least for me i would love to have an <laughs> apple to eat although wow with the lines i don't know <laughs> they have fresh corn and other vegetables there they have the carrots with the leaves attached, yeah. which you don't find at the grocery stores. But you're growing your own tomatoes. Oh, I, I just have a plant. Oh, just the plant. One little plant. <laughs> I have more basil and aromatic plant. Yeah, I think everyone can do that. Yeah. I wasn't sure about New York City because there are no balconies here. Mm -hmm. Usually when I live in other cities, I do my little garden on the balcony. Uh, but I still have a fire escape. <laughs> so I utilize at least the corners of the fire escape oh. for yeah, farming some veggies and herbs. It was nice. All right, let's check this out. We are in Jackson Heights and we found this little farmer's market, right? We are checking it out now. Mask first. Yeah, I'm putting it on because it's a little crowded here. Ready? Okay. Oh, every Sunday from 8 to 3 p.m. You didn't know this one. I didn't know. Are you okay? Holes, yes, hmm? luckily. Oh, tomatoes. Oh, heirloom tomatoes. Oh, this is the ones I, I buy. $4.50 a pound though. Yeah, they're very expensive. They're expensive. But I must say they are the, the main thing that reminds me of an Italian summer. Now that I'm stuck here. Bakery. Good. 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 Good.
This is amazing. You know what? I must say something about markets in New York City. They are also aesthetically pleasing. I'm not used to them. You know, in Italy they just put all the fruits and vegetables on a table. <laughs> really? In no, I mean in baskets, but oh. they don't really pay attention to the aesthetics. Here they have these little baskets, so cute. <laughs> and they put each piece of vegetable <laughs> in the right place. Wow, so in Italy they just put all the vegetables randomly, like zucchinis with the uh, No, no, not tomato. together. But they have baskets with zucchini, baskets with tomatoes. Oh, okay. Without really paying attention to how they look. The carrots, for example, mm. they are just thrown in a basket. They are not put in rows and columns <laughs> oh, like they I do see. here. Do you see anything you want to buy yet? Uh, I wasn't paying attention. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, we're going to walk That one is less crowded, I mm -hmm. think. Oh, there's a seafood market here. Turkey farm. Wow. La entrada. See, this is more similar to what you find in Italy. Oh, I see. Apples. Oh, yes. those apples look nice. Gonna buy a, a couple of apples. Should we go in with the bicycle? What's no, I, I can watch the bike. Okay. All right, we just got finished with the farmer's market of Jackson Heights. Mary Jane bought a few apples and had one. Delicious. Very good. Delicious. Very refreshing and energetic. Yep. We're ready to finish this ride. I think it's around noon now. Yep. 12.21. 12.21. Go left? Yep, go left. First pit stop of the day. Wow. These trees look so peaceful, quiet. It does. So much green also, all these trees. I think this open street here is one of the best things that could happen to this community. Wow, there was even a sign back there on the fencing. It said, make it permanent. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. They should leave it permanent like this. It looks so, so much better now. I guess at this point, at this point, the issue, you know, it's 
to understand whether we want our cities to be to continue being uh, car centric cities or maybe we are understanding through this pandemic that space is not to be given for granted and it's not to be given for granted that all this space is dedicated to the cars i know if you think about this street for example it's so much space that usually it's only reserved to cars and well to bicycles as well which <laughs> very often is also occupied by cars <laughs> the bike lane i even saw the dog back there it was laying down on the side <laughs> completely tired So even pets can use this space. I think it's a great livable space, right? It is. It's kind of a pity that usually it's used as a road, because with all these trees and it's a very nice tree. Thirty fourth Avenue. Thirty fourth Avenue, that's right. And we got on at 71st Street. It's already 86. I might have to look at the map to see if this is truly the longest open street in New York City. Yeah, and don't let me know. I'm curious now. And the drivers who want to come down here, they're very respectful of the people here. They're going very slow. Look at this, you never see this. Before. I mean, look at this cave. <laughs> He's drawing a little house with chalk. <laughs> <laughs> That was wonderful. Yeah. Whoa, what the heck? My camera just did something. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. You see, that's why I was saying, like, something's wrong with it, I think. What the? Looks like it's still recording, though. Yeah, it's still recording, but nothing's happening here. So this is the middle of Jackson Heights. It is, yep. 90th Street. At 99, we're gonna make a left and go all the way to uh, the water by LaGuardia Airport. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh. I think that's our youngest rider here. Here we're biking around Jackson Heights, the whole length. I, I must say, I smell so many good things running through, Brook, um, through Queens, like food smells. And the farmer's market. <laughs> and the farmer's market. But the food smells in the streets is something that I usually don't experience here in New York City. 
because people don't cook that much. So it's more restaurants who cook and they have all the aspiration. Aspiration? The fan. Uh, they have oh, a fan system fancy, for which yeah. you don't really smell the odor. So it's very nice. I, I like it. It reminds me of the old continent here. <laughs> All right. I thought about getting a second GoPro actually. You did? Yes, because it would be very convenient for me to get a couple of different shots from the bicycle. Mm -hmm. I know example, I need to get a. I'm only considering another one because this one might be acting up. Huh. But I need to contact GoPro support. Have you tried to do all those reset I did, things? yeah. Hmm. But I know it's that camera that has problems. So if you encounter a problem like that, um, shouldn't you be somehow yeah. refu not refounded, yeah. but Shouldn't they change the camera with the one that doesn't have those problems? Yeah, I think they should. You think they should? Okay. Because I don't know how things work here exactly. I think GoPro, they have a one-year warranty. If something goes wrong within one year, then... Okay. Good. You can get a replacement or a refund. Are you within the year? I'm within the year, yeah. The GoPro only came out in... Uh, I think October, so it's only been out for a... Oh, wow. Yeah, it's only been out for like 11 months. Oh, no more open street anymore. So I went to 95th Street. Yeah, J Junction Boulevard. But it would be nice if they extended it all, all the way to the end, though. You think they're going to do it? Or they I might don't know. do it? It would be nice, huh? <laughs> it would. All right, left turn here. And here we see the issue with uh, the street when there's no more open streets. Well, this car is coming. Let's go straight all the way to the end. And we are back in the middle of the car. Yep. Only for a little while though.
That was a nice little hill. Yes! <laughs> it felt the breeze, it was really comfortable. All right, that sign where it says no right turn, we're gonna make a right turn. Straight and then right. And then this way. We're not supposed to make a right turn there, but it makes it a lot easier. Well, I guess the the bicycles, at least in this city, are a little bit in the middle um, between pedestrians and cars. Yeah. I mean, no, that's normal. I mean that uh, regarding the laws, you're supposed to respect the laws of the cars on the street, but in reality, very often, I feel like if you did that, then people will tell you that you're doing something wrong. It is, yeah. Because you end up having dangerous behavior. So I guess sometimes it's fine to just break the laws like we did now. Mmm, fresh cut grass. I mean, we're also supposed to stop at red lights also and stop signs, but... Yeah. Usually, I, I see most cyclists, they just stop and if there's no traffic coming, they go. I feel like especially during this moment where the traffic is much calmer than pre-pandemic, it's hard to just stop at red lights mm -hmm. and that's it because very often there is literally no one passing. <laughs> so it would be kind of stupid to just stop at every single red light. Here, this is a great street, but there's no bike lane. It's, I mean, there's a bike lane here, but it's not a great one. Are you all right? Yep. Okay. Now we're going to be riding by the water. <laughs> you might want to get some shots on the other side. Nice. And there's the highway back again. to the water and LaGuardia Airport's right here this is called the Flushing Bay Promenade Flushing Bay Promenade yep good to know 
not too many people in the city know about this area. Well, so you can bike right along the water here for a good length. Which one is LaGuardia Airport here? Right here, LaGuardia Air. Everything to the left of us uh -huh. is LaGuardia Airport. This is LaGuardia Airport. Mm -hmm. Good to know. I've never been to LaGuardia Airport before. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. All right. Good to see they're doing cleanup here. Yeah, they just cleaned up the park. Mm, such a nice breeze. It is. Perfect weather today. And this is the Flushing Bay over here. Airport. How big is it? I think I know it has I think four terminals, but I'm not sure how big it is. It's not, it's not nearly as big as John F. Kennedy or Newark Airport. It's not yeah. an international airport. So it's mostly domestic. All domestic, yeah. Okay. That's why I've never been here probably. Yeah. Actually, I think they also fly to Canada as well. Mm -hmm. So it's not all domestic, but Canada is so short from here that yeah. they can do. And over here, you can see the marina for all the boats. When do you get the boat action kid? When do I get a boat? Yeah, you get a boat. I don't know. Do. We'll see. <laughs> boat videos. <laughs> boat videos. Watch the hole here. Yeah. It's on the right is a boat work workshop. I think it's the parking lot. Oh, it's the parking for the boats. Oh yeah, parking lot <laughs> for the boats and for the drivers too. I think over here there might be some loose tiles. Also, I want to show you something cool. Mm -hmm. Over here, you can see in alphabetical order, they have an animal followed by a plant. Aardvark and arrowhead. What is this exactly? They have these tiles here, I think just for artistic purposes. Mm -hmm. They're in alphabetical order. They have one tile for an animal and one tile for a plant. So over here you see aardvark and arrowhead. And this other side? And over there is beaver and bayberry. I think they're all North American animals and plants. So mm -hmm. it doesn't go all the way to Z, but I think it, it covers a good amount. That's a nice spot. Yeah. I guess with sunshine would be even better. 
I know it's it's, uh, it's bad. It's a cloudy day, but mm, but makes it better for cycling. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We enjoy the weather more. <laughs> Oh, and there's cow and crab apple I saw on the other oh, side. another two. <laughs> but over here, the water is actually very dirty. There was a lot mm. of oil that was spilled here. So they're in the middle of cleaning it up. Oh, really? When yeah. did it happen? Oh, it's just been happening over the years because oh. there's so much like industry here and oil tankers. So I was reading something yesterday <clears throat> about one of the parks that we're gonna cross, which I think it might be this one. This is Flushing, Flushing Meadows, Meadows yeah. Corona Park. Um, I think it might be this one that in the first 30 years of the 1900, mm -hmm. it was used as an ashes dump it was, yeah. All the ashes from the coal burning from both from the um, from the houses of the city and the industries. And now they turn it into a park. Now it's a park. Which is very interesting for me because I've done a Staten Island bike trip. A uh, couple of weeks ago, and they have the Fresh Kill, the Fresh Kill Park, park yeah. park exactly that they are building. But they are building it on top of a landfill that used to be <laughs> the biggest landfill in the entire world it was for crazy. decades and decades. And they're just literally building a park on top of a landfill. And some people commented under that blog that it's not rare in the United States that it's not a, a rare practice. I don't know if you know anything about that. Yeah, I know they were making it for a long time, but there's so many things in New York that they've built on top of because it used to be like a bad area or actually it was a dump. Like, you know, Washington Square Park, there used to be a creek there that went under it and they just filled it in because they wanted more land and it was used as a potter's field, uh -huh. basically where they would bury dead bodies there. Oh, wow. Yeah. So Washington Square Park underneath it is uh, dead bodies. So I guess New York City is a city in layers. Yeah. A Mainly layers. hidden layers. <laughs> So we're actually going to go over here now, to the right. I think we missed the turn. Yeah, we're supposed to go over there. Left turn. You can pass. So it's weird when you tell Google Maps you want to go through here because they initially tell you to go through the parking lot of the baseball stadium, but it's not always open. Ah, oh, interesting. But we're going to make a more scenic route and go through Flushing Meadows Park and see the Unisphere. Uh -huh. It'll be nice. So you showed us the... This way. Nice little trick now. Yeah. But this is where the Mets play, the New York Mets City Field.
And over here is the Arthur Ashe Stadium, where they have the U.S. Open. They play tennis here. Tennis? Yeah. U.S. Open. US is Open. this where they do the U.S. Open? No, right? They do, yeah. They do? It's going on right now, I think. Oh my god. I've always watched the U.S. Open from home, you know, in Italy. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> There's a ground. lot of checkpoints too. I think we can go this way. Space to make a double I do. direction bike light here. Let's go here. So now you know where they play tennis. Yeah. You watch on TV. But when you think of um, when you think of Flushing Meadows Park, this is like the main area where they always show by the fountain and the Unisphere over there. Thank you. Thank you. What is this huge blue thing? Is it a pool? That's a fountain. It's called the oh fountain of the planets. Oh my god! <laughs> That's so gigantic! Yeah. They made this unisphere specifically for a, a world's fair. It weighs, Holy. I think, like but so you, much. You know, I've seen it so many times in pictures on Instagram and on the internet. But I thought it was like as big as a, I don't know, two people. <laughs> oh no, it's huge. I guess I, I got the perspective of those pictures completely wrong. <laughs> oh my God. Look at this. I know, right? It's huge. <laughs> This is her first reaction to seeing this in real life. <laughs> yeah. See if you can find Italy. Oh yes, opposite, <laughs> opposite. Uh, the opposite side. side. We are in the middle of the Pacific Ocean now. <laughs> wow, this is very. Could I say? I don't know if it's beautiful, but it certainly it triggers a reaction. Here, Unisphere, U.S. Steel Corporation. It weighs 700,000 pounds. 700,000 pounds, which would be like probably the half in kilograms, I think. Probably. 
It's all so hundreds of thousands of kilograms. There we are, America! Yay! Oh my! I know, right? <laughs> oh my! I'm so happy you brought me here. <laughs> I was interested in seeing the U, uni, how is it called? Unisphere. Unisphere. But I thought it would have been just a, you know, like a medium small sculpture, <laughs> and that's what. It, wow! That's wow. I like that. Although we are in New York City, New York City is actually very much on top it is it's so all it's not, the way up there yeah it's not extremely evident <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the Alps because <laughs> um, this unisphere shows the terrain I think is the right word in English it does yeah oh it I see all the I see I see Italy you see it's like little... a little tower of material <laughs> there And they even put Sicily there, but it's it's kind of like at an angle, not worse. Wow. I'm impressed. It's like seeing the Leaning Tower of Pisa for the first time, right? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I was a kid when I saw it for the first time, <laughs> so I couldn't tell. Beautiful. I was reading that they could have fixed the tilt completely, but they didn't want to. Of this one? Of the oh, Leaning of Tower the... of Pisa. Probably, with all the tourism that it gets <laughs> <laughs> to the small city of Pisa yeah. but also I think it's um, uh, it's embedded in the identity of the city now it is aside of all the tourism things the changing the battery again no I'm getting the stick all oh, the stick I want to get a shot of cycling around yeah. selfie mode also if you need to use the bathroom I think this is like one of the last times you can do oh then I should do that yeah definitely uh, we have time it's all the way at the end on the other side of the park okay perfect that one's a little bit more clean. Then I'm gonna drink a bit of water now. The only thing with the GoPro, I find it a bit annoying to change the mounts. Yeah. Sometimes it's a very tight fit. Yes. It's not very practical. I guess it's not done for the use that I do of the GoPro that yeah. I change all the time. Okay, shall we just do uh, a yeah. round? Thank you.
Do you understand what they were? Oh, uh, it's about unsafe school openings. Yeah. For COVID? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Oh, wow. Interesting. There's a lot going on here. And over there, I saw some Indian dancing on the grass. See them. Should we go get the shot? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Look at them, all in costume. Are they still doing it? I don't know. They're talking, they're, they have something against the president of Mexico. Oh, I see, yeah. Looks like a big deal. Free vegan, Free vegan food. of Mexico. Yeah. We're gonna go left here. Yep. I noticed that they're doing construction over there, so we need to go around it. All right. So what do you think of this park so far? It looks like um, uh, one of those parks that are more, how to explain, um, more like a social park than it a is. Nat natural park. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like the extreme example of a natural park would be Inwood Hill Park, for example. 
whereas this feels more like Central Park, where people actually gather together and I would say maybe more like Prospect Bar because people are barbecuing and doing picnics. It's, it looks like it's very family oriented. It is. It's, I see people in the hammocks, they're playing yes. soccer over there. Soccer. Or football. Football. I never uh, understood how it is. Elsewhere in the world. Nice hammock here. <laughs> and I think that was a group of Mexicans with the music. Oh. I like how. Nice. Um, people of nationalities, uh, both from Mexico and Central America, or <laughs> even South America. I'm not really an expert in, in South America because I've never been there. They always have some music around them. Are they going to score? It's a mixed team. You see, both female. Oh, Both I see. girls and boys. I think Mary Jane really likes Flushing Meadow Park. <laughs> it's very colorful. Probably her favorite is the Unisphere. That was very unexpected, I must say. <laughs> the Unisphere. Oh, you dropped your glasses. Yeah. These are not my real ones. They are $2 glasses. <laughs> I also realized my zipper was open for the, for the bicycle See? bag. See, I always say everything happens for a reason. I know. <laughs> I have a bad habit of that. I open my bag, I forget to close it. I got lucky the last time something fell out. I was in Manhattan and it was the uh, GoPro case that came out. Not the camera itself, but the oh, wow. case fell on the ground and nothing happened. Thank God. Yeah. But it's so light, it just bounces. Yeah. Look, there's another soccer field here, and another one there. Oh, there's plenty. Wow. I think it's the first park I see in New York City with football fields. Uh, soccer, sorry. <laughs> I wonder why, maybe, maybe it's a more immigrant, um, how do you say, in, 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 the community formed by immigrants. Yeah. Because I don't see many, uh, they say white people here, right? Is, many, is, uh, what was that? White people, they say here. Oh, yeah. It sounds very racist to my <laughs> European years. That's why I wasn't sure if I should say it. You can say it, it's fine. Okay. I mean, it's... There's a whole bunch of people here, but this community is mostly uh, Hispanic. Yeah, yeah, Hispanic. I see some Asians, not many. I feel very uncomfortable to, to say white people, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make a right here and then make a left. Oh, right here, right here. Wow. 
That was an entrance that's very hard to find. If you don't know where it is, you can just pass it by really easily. Oh, yes, definitely. What do you think about an entire highway passing in the middle of the park for families? Entire highway? I think it's kind of strange sometimes. Because it's but very here's noisy. The bathroom. I'm gonna use the bathroom too. Someone dropped their metro card. I don't know whose that is. Maybe it's empty. I found unlimited metro cards on the ground before. Like I had What? I had like one week to use it. I was like, whoa, what use this? Amazing. I tried a couple of, of times but they were empty. The metro cars which have money on them are never in the subway station. They're always like underneath a bench or inside the store. Good point. Alright, we're gonna make a left here. I think we can get to there from here. Yeah, we can. see it. The next left, we make a left here. You see this? This is the New York City Greenway. a nice playground for kids. Yeah, it's beautiful. Wow. <laughs> I would have killed to have one like this when I was a kid. Thanks. Now I hate crossing the street. It's so busy here. Bless you. Thank you. See, I cannot live without sunglasses. We go up here and go up the street. All right. Until I think it's um, 150th Street, I believe. Now we make a left. Is there any cars coming? Yeah, there is. Whoa. That's a dangerous it's, spot. It's dangerous here. Now I understand what you meant. Yeah. Oh, this is the Botanical Garden of Queens. It is, right here. Ah. But it's just you, so you bad. You visited, it's I guess, bad, right? It's in a bad area for traffic. Hmm. Right by the highways. And it's better to wait until we have a walk in there. All oh, right. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. I 
And now there's a bit of a hill here. I'm standing on my pedals. Action Key has only one gear, I see. Only one gear. <laughs> This is Poof Memorial Avenue. So this is Flushing, Queens. So are we finally in Flushing? This is Flushing, yep. I'm very happy because this is only the second time in my life that I come to Flushing. Really? I can't believe I came here the very first time I was in New York City because my couch surfing host brought me here to do a food tour. Oh. And I remember it was so amazing. And then I never came back because it's so far away from from Manhattan where I live now. Mm. Even with the subway, it's like way too far. <laughs> it is. It's at the end of the 7 train. Yeah, exactly. But this isn't really the downtown part of Flushing. This is like in between. Mm -hmm. It's more residential. Mm -hmm. Okay, any cars coming? Nope. 150th Street, we're well, gonna make a left. This is already 146.
You see they have the little tiny sign over there, but it's hard to see. Especially if you're going fast. Oh, yes. Yeah. There it is. Really tiny. <laughs> they should really make it larger. And more soccer. Or it's not. No, it's not. Oh. What sport know. is this? That's it's strange. cricket. Maybe cricket? There's soccer over there, I think. There's, uh, there it is, soccer. Uh, was it cricket the first field? I'm not sure. You don't know? We go go up here, the ramp. Oh, okay. I think you're really going to enjoy the last portions of this ride. It's something that's like really different. To be honest, I, I like these areas because they are residential, mm -hmm. which I know that people usually, especially those ones who move to New York City for the cultural life, etc. Uh, they hate these areas because they're residential. But I think that, you know, every city has a soul. Even your city, uh, especially these days, we're talking so much about that article is New York City dead, right? Right, right here. And I think that that author was, we go right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so New York City is famous for the nightlife, the cultural life, etc. But I think that in reality, the, the soul of New York City, the core of the city are these areas here. But these are the areas where all the essential workers live and have their families. Ice cream. <laughs> I cream. Ice cream. Have these ice cream ice cream trucks always been around? They have. In your experience? All the time. They're so nice. <laughs> yeah. I think in Italy back in the days they used to have ice cream trucks. Now you don't see them anymore. And now here's another sign, make a left here. It's kind of strange over here, but once we get on the main area, it's, it's a lot better. There's the sign. You that really one's a little have bit to bigger. pay attention. Yeah. I mean, even if you pay attention, but you don't know the area, it's hard to I know, that's talk. why I'm, I'm guiding you. It took me so long to figure this out. Action Kid is saving us. Casino Park. Casino Park. Casino Park, I really like it. Oh, nice. This is much more green. Mm -hmm. It reminds me a little bit of the Silver Lake Park in Staten Island. That's true. But well, you have to be careful of the tree roots on the mm -hmm. lifting up the pavement. Sometimes it can get a little bit dangerous. Again, some play fields on the left. Oh yeah. And sometimes this area can get a little bit flooded too. Uh huh. I hope it's not right now. So beautiful. Yeah. You know what this also reminds me of? What? Helen Bay Park in the Bronx where there's like a little true. short section there. I've been there, true. And this vegetation? Wow.
And Casino Park also has a nice lake over here. But we're not allowed to ride our bicycle over there. I always feel like lakes and ponds, they add a lot to the park. Without a lake or a pond, the park's not complete. I agree. And now I can see even more the comparison with Silver Lake Park in Staten Island. Yeah. But Kisuna Park is not a, a popular, not popular, I, I mean famous. It's not a it's famous not park, famous. right? not a name that you hear a lot more or less like Silver Lake Park yeah thank you <laughs> again kids playing with the ball oh yeah You know, near here also, there's a velodrome where you can just go around and around in circles with a bicycle. Where is that? It's uh, not too far from here. I think um, if you were like go off here to the right, you'll be able uh -huh. to find it. But and they really haven't done any work to it though. It's in I'm disrepair. Also, it's not private? No, it's, it's a public velodrome. Ah. The city owns it. So anyone can go there? Yeah, anyone. All right, let's go. Wow. This little part <laughs> with yeah. the, the grass here, the tractor there feels almost like countryside. <laughs> it really does. Like you never <laughs> expect this to be in New York City. But I pretty much took you through like a traffic free way to get here. Yeah, Otherwise it's going to be like very busy and a lot of local streets, but. But this is by far like the most stress free way you can get to Eastern Queens. Mm -hmm. But you need to know where to make all the turns and everything. Yes. Yeah, I must say in comparison to my Bronx bike trip, <laughs> which was very, oh, that very was much horrible. in the middle of the traffic. <laughs> this one is very different. Wow, this house is in front of the park. Oh they yeah. Are amazing. Now right turn. Oh, there you go. Oh my god. It smells like flowers here. Oh look, yeah. How old are these ones? Oh. It's so fragrant. Oh, look at this path. Oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> it's like how, this for a long time. How can we convey this, the smell of flowers through video? <laughs> oh, it smells so good. This is insane. This is a good detox from the garbage smell and the urine smell of Manhattan. <laughs> you come out here, you feel like refreshed again. And that's a different environment too, because if you go, you know, to Rockaway, you get the beach and the sand, and over here you get yeah. flowers and trees. Yeah. This is so strange though, it's just like an open field with a road in the middle. There's like nothing around us besides the lamp. Exactly, and I was just imagining now to be one of these people that live here. Mm -hmm. You know, in the evening when the lamps Now we uh, need to ride on, on the sidewalk, can, it's weird. They can take those little walks of just five minutes in the evening. Yeah. before going to bed that just relax you such a nice area I imagine the quality of life here is much higher than the average New York City oh yeah It feels like it might rain too. Let's see, you know, I was coming down to Queens on the Queens side of the Queensboro Bridge was actually not raining, but it was sprinkling. I don't know oh. how it's called. Very fine rain. Manhattan zero. Let's see. We'll see, yeah. There's a lot of nice homes here and churches too. What about this church? Um, it has uh, some Asian oh, characters. Oh, uh, looks Korean. Korean? Yeah, it's a Korean church. There you go. United Presbyterian Church of Queens. Okay. They need to stop for us. I've heard that the DMV here, they do the road test here sometimes. Uh huh. Because it's more quiet and there's more space for people to like practice parking. That makes sense. And look, other tennis fields, another soccer field. Yeah. That's beach volley? No. That's a uh, handball. How is handball. it called? Handball. Handball? Yeah. Well, this, this isn't a uh, handball over here. I don't know what this is. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> That's baseball, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> wow. We <laughs> really got excited there. Yeah! Almost as excited as Italians get for football. <laughs> oh! It smells like home cooked food. 
I do smell it, yeah. Do you smell it's like tomato sauce? Yeah. And some fried something. Someone's fried cooking something good. Eggplant. Oh Jesus. <laughs> I hope the city made it easier to go up on because this is, this is one of the stupidest designs ever right here where we need to make a right. Oh, here? Yeah. Mm. Oh, with you, I, I let you go forward. They should put a curb cut here. Yeah, they still didn't do it. It's so stupid. Wow. So you need to get off your bike. Seriously? Yeah, it's so stupid. And I'm not even going to ride up here because I got a yeah. ski bike. I'll no, wait I have, till I get here. I have so many gears, I have no problem. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> All right. Now we're going over a highway again. So what surprised me of these highways that go in the middle of residential areas or parks is that they don't even have uh, sound barriers. Yeah, this is all open. So. Because I can understand that they need to build them in the middle of residential areas. Otherwise, I mean, it's such a big metropolis that they have to but at least put some sound barriers. Yeah. <laughs> they have really nothing. I think to, together with the um, air pollution, the noise pollution is the biggest problem of highways or big roads for, that impact the quality of life of the residents of the area. More fields to play. Oh yeah, basketball. This is a classic basketball. And over here to our left is a Catholic high school. Huh. St. Francis Prep. Athletic training center. Yep. I never noticed the fact that it's much easier to build basketball fields in cities that are very densely populated because it's just a small rectangle of concrete, really. Oh, yeah. Sorry, it's, it's such a simple thought, but I never thought about it. I don't know <laughs> why. I thought about it just now because the basketball fields are the most common ones around New York City in general. See, this turn is confusing. There's no more signs that tell you you need to turn right there. I'm feeling some water on me. Yeah, that's the same kind of rain that I was yeah. feeling on the Queensboro Bridge earlier. Left. left, right? Left, yeah. Left, right. And then we go that way. Now this is the start of the Vanderbilt Motor Parkway. Oh, the famous. Yeah. This used to be just for cars. This was the, this was the first uh, toll highway in the United States, I think. It, was, it used to be a private highway, and now they turned it into this uh, bike path and pedestrian path. But it's actually pretty fun. It's, it wasn't a very like practical highway because they really used it for like racing and for fun. So 
Uh -huh. There's a lot of like turns in it. It's... Is it featured in Francis Scott Fitzgerald's The Great Gat Gatsby? I don't think so. I haven't read the book, but I happened to watch the movie like a couple oh, of years wow. ago. And they have references to Long Island roads. So. Oh, wow. Maybe this one is mentioned. I'm hmm. not really sure. I mean, most of the parkway, they uh, closed it down and they like built over it. But this portion in Queens, it survives. Uh huh. That's a nice uphill, Action Kid. Yeah, I don't think I can make it. Sometimes yeah. I have trouble. With one gear. <laughs> If you look to the side also, sometimes you can see like the old posts and stuff where they have like the railing, you see? Oh, that's yeah. true. Walk the rest of the way. It's getting steep. It's really interesting what you see here sometimes. You see like stray cats and chipmunks here. Really? Yeah. Wildlife in this area. I think this pathway is a lot more fun on the way back to Manhattan though. Are we this gonna... way is a little more uphill. Uh huh. Well, this is a nice slope here. Yeah. And also, if you want to skip all of that, going through Flushing Meadow Park and all those local streets, you can take the F train all the way to the last stop here, uh -huh. and then ride through Jamaica Estates and come right here. I've done that before. Action Kids practical tips. Yeah. road here always so quiet or it's just because it's Sunday? Uh, it's always this quiet. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Oh, such a beautiful <laughs> part with these tall trees. Yes, we're biking through the forest. Yoo-hoo! Wow.
No problem, take your time. Yeah, take your time. Nobody's in a rush. This is so cool. Uh, to the right. Hi. <laughs> Make a right. Right? Yeah. Oh, flooded. That spot, it always gets flooded. Right turn now. Scary part. <laughs> and there now right turn here. Quite a bit of echo. <laughs> wow, this is so many turns. <laughs> I know, I told you. It's like a it used to be like a racing track, like a fun racing track. Even now, can you tell how beautiful it is visually, but acoustically it's not because we can hear the noise from the traffic of some kind of road that we have. Oh yeah. And the airplanes on top of our heads. Now this hill I always have trouble with. Oh wow, I'm gonna try oh, to make no, it. Oh no, my camera ran out of battery.